Joe and Kathy Banfield on Facebook, is there any particular story you could or would share about your times on the road with Waylon? Well, Waylon and I were the best of friends, and we were, we were like an old married couple, you know? <laughs> we, <laughs> we didn't agree on anything, but we loved each other, and we loved to argue, and, you know, and when we went out with a highwayman with Chris and me and, and Waylon and John, uh, that was the most fun in the world, just arguing with Waylon and listening to Chris and Waylon argue. I always thought Chris Christopherson should have been bigger than he was. Yeah, well, he was, he's still the best songwriter out there. Really? Oh, yeah. I didn't think of him. James McClellan on Facebook, why the braids? Well, it pissed a few people off, and I figured it was worth doing. How long have you been doing it? How long have you well, been braiding? I don't know, 30, 40, 50, I don't know. I don't have any idea. I Were remember you braid one time. Every day? Yeah. I remember one time, the first time I started wearing braids, and I saw Billy Joe Shaver in, in a studio in Nashville. He said, You look outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Thank you. <laughs> we wouldn't be Willie without uh, braids. Uh, Bryson Knox on Facebook. As you look back in your career, what's the one thing that sticks out the most that had the biggest impact in your life? Was there a turning point in your life? Was there a hit record? Was there a moment? when Willie Nelson became the Willie Nelson? Well, there was a time there when when I was working with Ray Price. I played bass in Ray Price's band for a long time. And whenever we'd come back to Nashville and have a few days off, I wrote for Pamper Music. And so we would go into the studio and record songs that I had written, songs that Hank Cochran had written, and Harlan Howard and some of the writers there at Pamper Music. And I'd go in with the Ray Price band and make the demos with the, the band I've just been traveling with. You had, Ray, you had Jimmy Day playing steel and some of the greatest musicians in the world. So I felt like my demos that I made were better than the records that I came out with. <laughs> and I still think they, they So that were. sprung you? Yeah, yeah, the demos, I think. Is your Roger Fisher on Facebook. What's your favorite, do you have a favorite song to sing? I have a few favorites, not really one favorite. Do you do the same show every night? I do 30, 40 songs, basically. And, you know, if I get a new song out, uh, I've got a new song called The Wall that uh, when I was talking a while ago about work, getting overbooked, you know, and work, I wrote this song called The Wall. It's, uh, I took on more than I could handle, a bit off more than I could chew. I hit the wall. And I went off like a Roman candle, burning everyone I knew. I hit the wall. Oh, I love that. You recorded with my wife. If you recorded with me, what song would we do? <laughs> to all the girls, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday through Thursday, on demand on Hulu and Aura.tv.